This is a FSC Zhuk in his natural environment. This is a Zhuk in the wildness. Hello, Zhuk fans everywhere. I'm Karol from UK Zhuk and this is the summary of my story building and restoring the classic van FSC Zhuk. In English it's Beetle. So let's have a look. When I was young they were very popular, so there was many of them and they were like robust vans in Poland, hard workers. But now they became very rare vehicles in Poland. It's hard to get a good one these days. And actually there's not many as crazy people as me which want them. It's quirky, it's rare. I mean there is maybe 20 of them in the entire country and probably the most complete of them all. <laughs> So actually this is the communist van built in Poland uh, from 1950s up to 1998 and this is one of the very last ones. So this is the this is the van. Here is the we owning. It's as I said it's a seven seater. So have a look. So here proper seats with the seat belts, tables and the disco lights because why not so it's a uh, has a sleeping function for uh, it makes a flat bed around here and there so it's like a double bed uh, so yeah it's, it's very simple it's also quite tall i mean the clearance is pretty good so that's why we went up to build like this you can recognize this field from the the old videos already and so I had a wee round here too, you know what I mean? Uh, and this is it, it's uh, not much left of the original interior to be honest, but I was trying to keep the character of the van as much as possible. So it has that silly sliding windows, three of them. Uh, the dashboard shape I kept as it's been, but this is like a all the new lining, new oak, uh, the, the aisles are restored, there's a new speedo and things like that. And my van is a six speed now, as a proper Getrack six speed gearbox, which does the job. But I kept the original stick and original gear knob because it was nice. And you can see here's the pattern the seat has an electric adjustment all the way any way you want actually new pedal box pedo things like that and here's engine seats as you can see at the moment there is a bmw four pot straight a 16 valve petrol engine fitted and it's they've been never offered with such a power at all So this is our hump removed. The option was a um, uh, four or three speed gearbox. At the moment this is a BMW plus six speed manual gearbox. Does the job really great. It drives pretty much like a normal car. I'm Karol, I'm the Polish guy living in the northeast of Scotland in UK. And I was always fancy about quirky and classic cars so my best car i ever had and i'm still owing it it's my lovely two-stroke trabant you may see in the videos also the most powerful car i ever had it's my current juke which is 140 bhp crazy power right and the very last fact about me is that the most trustworthy car and the best i ever had is my french daily car Genuinely? You really are crazy. Don't forget. We do subs in English and Polish. 
2020 was a dark times for everyone. The highlight was uh, the, the one finally started, uh, but unfortunately after a few days it had blown the head gasket and well I wasn't, I wasn't happy really with the condition of this particular engine so I went for, for another one which is slightly bigger it's 1.9 uh, instead of 1.8 but because this new engine has the sensors in a different places and it's like slightly different uh, there are a few different things on it so to fit that engine instead of old one I had to make like a custom timing case and uh, simply swap the gears for a different sensor on the camshafts my great neighbor Bob he helped me a lot with it Cheers for this man and uh, that was all fine apart from the wiring was mess and we're still hoping for a go to Zwombel rally to Turkey never happened so yeah the wiring was a mess so my friends from Poland came to help me and yeah they really helped me a lot Christian and Wojciech so that was quite a productive weekend because we spent like four days working on it um of course we didn't make everything because the, we were running out of the time and the boys too because uh, at the moment when they back get back home to poland the airports was closed and then britain went into the lockdown so that was the dark times summer was great so i was busy with uh, with different things exploring scotland and things like that unfortunately without the van uh, because i was simply gutted and had enough of it for a while yeah i was enjoying life and then when they released the first lockdown andy and leo came up here and they helped me a bit with uh, basically um putting this back together so then the summer was over and I had a really bad accident, so that was kind of the drama for, for last year. So it finished with a nasty scar. And so I've been out of action for a while. So, so you know, my mind was totally in a different place than this little garage and my Zook. But finally, after a few weeks, I made it. And yeah, things started coming together. And that was a really nice time. During the test, when, when Zook was running, was all right. I mean, no issues with the engine at all. But after a while, the little gremlin started messing with the gearbox and started having issues. But um, I wasn't sure what's going on. It finished with a um, broken reverse gear. So I got another gearbox, which is not, uh, not that easy to get. So it finished with a new gearbox which lasts me up to up to first MOT because Zhuk had the MOT recently it failed on minor issues like a handbrake so it's ready for a for a retest at the moment and that was the end of my sticking with the automatic gearbox plan so I said no never again went for a six-speed manual and this is robust uh, transmission so we fitted this so the gearbox is great now we kept the, the stick, it works really well, there was like a few days of work on the, on the selector itself because it has a linkage, the BMW uh, stick didn't fit because it joke, so everything very bad comparing to the normal car. Carol describes the end result of his project as a resto mod. Good old juke on the outside, but something a little more modern underneath. As well as upgraded lighting, the BMW powertrain, disc brakes, and power steering, making this juk a little easier to live with. The worst job for me was rewiring it because it has a BMW harness plus the juk wiring, so it took me two months to do it properly. And he learned a load of new skills along the way, such as sandblasting and a fair amount of interior design, with a new oak dashboard and well, this. Yeah, I know it looks like roast chicken at the moment, but... But Sunday lunch aside, it's the sheer attention to detail that elevates this juke from many others. Take this steering column, for example, which is already being improved. Now the main part of the build is over. 
But no project is straightforward, and there have been many hurdles along the way. The first sign of the oncoming pile of shed in this project was the little fire in the engine bay, which caused the um, uh, heatproof tape for the exhaust, which I realized, uh, you can see me upset, it was a product from eBay, which wasn't like a safe enough. And then the winter hit us very badly. I mean, it was the one of the best winters I ever seen. We had a meter of snow around here in the yard, so I was digging out my garage every day, digging the path. It was it was mental. This afternoon, winter finally won with me. The rafters holding the roof gave up and uh, the whole roof over my juke is simply, it's simply just holding itself. Well, I will show you better. So let's go to the garage. Yeah, so here we are. And I must say, it wasn't here last night at all. So this rafter went and squashed this bracket. So at the moment, the only thing which is holding it is this cabinet here. You can see how rotten the wood was. It wasn't very obvious to be fair. So this is the second one. It's totally off as well. And this, as you can see, the first paint from the summer were looking really nice from outside, but inside was rotten as well. And this is the third one. It just cracked, cracked and started going down. So this garage is here for a good 50 years and it's, it was in a pretty good nick. It's really, really devastating for me this. I did the support and I just finished with the snow. But this wasn't the only slip up that Carol faced. Just park and drive. And so I did. Hello, this is me. First proper dive of this FSC Zhuk van. It, uh, it's still in a stage of beta test. It's a frosty day as you can see. So let's start, let's start this. I load few cameras and we'll see how it goes. In three years time it had done just a mile, so <laughs> let's do it. Okay, it started, which is a good sign, but because I had a lot of hassle with all the wiring and gearbox and stuff, which you can see before in my uh, on this channel in uh, my previous Polish videos with uh, English subtitles, so this is like almost done, but obviously there is few, probably few things to do. And we'll see if we can even go out from the garage because the gearbox is faulty and it uh, basically lost uh, the reverse gear. As you can see, basically, there is no reverse at all, so I have to just push it out. <laughs> okay, somehow it decided to go, somehow it's moving back, so I don't know why, it's really weird, but uh, I think it just wanted to go outside. I think the, reverse clutch is gone you know but if we manage oh like that that would be a good sign come on so icy today so icy today i don't think it's uh, this is what i really want so okay it will be just a 
quick ride around the yard because uh, well let's just see what happens mirror is very handy thing First. go this way we're going now up the hill which you can see this little hill on the beginning of every of our episodes so this is the hill which took going down now for first time from ages it's going up the hill Let's just check the coolant level. The bonnet is closed. We've got a few, we've got an oil. We've got some engine after all. So let's go somewhere. Come on you. For me it's such a happy day. Finally to drive it. It wouldn't be a, a, a quick drive this but I'm fin I've I'm finally making it. So yeah, oh my neighbor. I'm owing this for three years now. Doing the conversion, engine conversion for uh, two and a half. It's supposed to be a uh, like quick job, you know, just a couple of months and done. One season off, but that never happens. It's a such a good feeling, you know. The Speedo is brand new and it shows just two miles done. So, happy days. Nice. Nice. Come on. And here I am, finished in a ditch. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit, shit happens. <laughs> so, must show you this. <laughs> Finish in the dish. It's uh, well done, me. <laughs> you can see that. Oh, yeah. That's me. That's probably the worst drive test you've ever seen. But hey. Uh, my dad came for a rescue action because that was just behind the corner. So with the Zhuk now free and safely on its way back home again, you'd think it would have earned a nice rest. But given the relative safety of his own field and his levels of excitement of having a road legal zhuk again, he couldn't resist taking it for another spin. But of course, in the muddy, frosty, snowy field, it got stuck again, and this time, not even the Jeep was able to extract it. Just as well, Carol has the world's best neighbour. The winter this year was nearly over and the van, as usual, almost ready for the MOT. After all the troubles, I never really lost interest in the classic cars. Following my dream, I'm still doing them to run away from boring life and gives me a hell of a lot of satisfaction. If you are wondering if looking back I should have done some things different way, you're probably right. But hey, not every Carol is a Carol Shelby, yeah? And apart from sure things like time and money, you probably need one more thing. Big balls. <laughs> time for the end. So basically, enjoy life, find your way, try the new challenges. If it makes you happy, even uh, it takes uh, more effort than you're thinking. I hope I helped you a bit and uh, Remember, those are great vans, no one give a f about them and they are still easy to get in Poland in good money. I'm happy to help, I'm here with Andy and we are doing this project. So if you see something like that, remember it can probably 
That's one of us, UK Joe Cactus team. So one of the two of us now has their Zhuk on the road. I caught up with Carol to see if owning a Zhuk had changed him. Well, as you can see, my van took longer than I expected. But now, it's finally complete. After just four years. Let's go for a drive. Oh. 